This is a AD Zion commentary. Is all this footage I got from uh, one game. So, check it out. So, the beginning part, uh, me and Malphite are just sitting in that bush top because we know that we can take out Fiora if he overextends in the beginning because they have a jungler and she's probably stupid and doesn't know how to solo against two people so we're just waiting Malphite oh I get this done and Malphite slows her then I flash in and get the kill this next part she goes in on us I stun her and then get another kill but Malphite dies here this is like a little bit later on in the game we pretty much uh I'm fed at this point I almost have my phantom dancer and boom oh well, Karthus dies there it's kind of a glitch in the low recorder. So y'all sort of run back and then Fiora comes back so I stun her. I have my ult now so I, I'm pretty much, she can't really stop me. So she runs back. And I go for the stun, take her out because Scion's ult is amazing. Pretty much, as long as you have your ult, you can take out anyone, even without having a lot of life steal. As long as you have attack speed and crit. Okay, this is where I screw up. I just, that's their tank, so she's not going to get destroyed by me. But my ult is still running, so I'm thinking I can get a kill on somebody. And... Yeah, so, she could have gone, or, I forget, whatever the hell that champion's name is, she's new, I don't care. Um, goes for her ult, and then I kind of run in thinking I can take out at least her or Karthus, and then Ash arrows me. This is the first, pretty much, like, big team fight, where it's 5v5. So I go back in the bush go for Ash because she's fed as hell at this point and just try and get rid of her first and then hit my ult take out Ash and Karthus is out of position so I take him out I have like a lot yeah my lifesteal is just destroying them pretty much so I stick around after the Karthus ult just trying to get a stun on somebody there's Fiora, take her out, and we aced them at like 15 minutes. Now Warwick was pushing bot, so Malphite and I try and take him out. I ghost up trying to find him, and then Karthus just shows up, so I take the free kill. is like right after the Karthus kill I'm just getting red buff because nobody else wants to take it and I'm not going to let Warwick get it. There's a little bit of a team fight going on so I head up there after I take out red buff and then yeah so she dies pretty easily because I don't know our tank wasn't very tanky and then I take out Fiora well, yeah I take her out first and then Fiora get a good double kill and then we go and push and the life steal that I have is pretty much just I have already had full health even without my ult in like five seconds so I, I think that I can take out Warwick so I do And that was without the ult. Usually with Scion, unless you're like really fed, you can't take anyone out without the ult. Well, you can, but it's not as safe. So we take out that turret. 
I'm getting all my health back, so I don't really have to be, and I have like 2,000 gold to sit on it as well, so, and then Fiora chases us off, so, Karthus, and once again, out of position, so I get this done, and then Katarina gets the kill, and this Karthus was pretty bad, because I don't think he got one kill off the ult the whole game. And I picked up a Guardian Angel with that gold just so I can be a little bit more tanky because I'm already doing like a ton of damage with my Bloodthirster and my uh, Phantom Dancer. So I, I have a lot of attack speed so that's why my lifesteal is keeping me alive. And then we go for Baron. Because I can tank it pretty well. This part I didn't really edit out much because we're nearing like the last 10 minutes of the game. So, pretty much just gonna take Baron. We get Malphite actually was our tank, but. Second champion's name, whatever, um, she, she's pretty useless unless she's tanking, I don't know, I don't, I don't really think that she's that, Sejuani, that's the name, I don't think she's really that good of a champion. Oh, farming up, so I need to level up a little bit more. We're, we're gonna go for Dragon now, just cause we, uh, we, oh no, Warwick was trying to get blue buff, so I took him out. My attack speed pretty much makes it so I get all the kills. I believe that was the only arrow that Ash hit the whole game, cause, uh, she wasn't bad, but not very good. I try and go for Fiora here. It was a dumb move by me because Ash has her arrow by the Guardian Angel, so I could pretty much run away. I try and stay around just because of my stun and if I can save someone. So I get I try and get all my life back, all my health back, and I was kind of mad that Ash uh, tried to, well, took out a lot of HP out of the last um, race just because I needed my health. But it ended up okay because there is a minion wave. And, yeah, so just farming more. Trying to get all my, trying to get as much gold as I can, and we leave that wolf just so it respawns more, so Warwick can't keep farming. Yeah, that's the part where we go for dragon. Now I just go back. I think I buy another Phantom Dancer, at least a Zeal. Yeah, I buy a Zeal and a Dagger. So I have more crit and movement speed and attack speed, so. And now I'm just, I mean, I'm just thinking that I'm a badass so I can go anywhere and kill everybody, and that's... Not a good way to play, but I've gotten a ton of kills and a lot of gold. So, I teleport top so I can push, because since I have so much attack speed, there's no point I shouldn't be, I, well I should be pushing, not farming jungles or anything. This was kind of a glitch, okay. So went back and yeah so I'm running over to get the tower because four of them are pretty much uh, put
pushing on us. I should have just took it out as fast as I could and then ran back, but I didn't. And so I took a couple of turret hits. I was able to get the inhibitor though, I think. While they're still pushing. Karthus tries to stop me, but he's not really much of a threat. This is my favorite part of the game, I think. Cause I was just like taking turret hits. I almost took him out. Then Sejuani tried to get at me, so I had my alt up, so I pretty much had unlimited health. So I get her to the point where she has to go to the fountain while my minions are pushing. They're telling me to fall back, so I do. So, because I they're gonna start going back to try and get me so I just run all the way back almost because there's nobody else pushing so I know that Fiora is gonna be coming for me so I'm about to recall and then I see Karthus thinking, thinking, should I go, and I do, kill him, like, in two seconds, I think I four-shot him, or six, I'll go six, so then I go back, because I know that they're gonna be coming after me now, and Fiora's there, so I, Ash misses her arrow, so I pretty much just die because of that. And Fiora was standing still, but we still get her anyway. And I'm pretty sure they're just gonna try and push and end it here. Um, I guess I'm sort of highlighting my items and all recorder. Yeah, I go with Berserker, Greaves, two Phantom Dancers, a Guardian Angel, and a Bloodthirster. I don't remember what my last item is. I think I just forget to get one and I end up having like 3,000 gold and I just buy something before the end of the game. Oh, team fight. Can't really tell who's who. Or, okay, so that's... Okay, I got it. Yeah, Sejuani pretty much just destroys our Ash. And Katarina is still pushing. I'm gonna go save Malphite because he's my laning buddy. Even though he's not really in that much danger. Oh yeah, see there, uh, Fiora's after Katarina, so I should, probably should have helped her. But instead I go for the kill on Sejuani, and I think she gets away too because she's got a lot of health. And armor and all that. But I don't give up. And Katarina takes out Fiora anyway. So that's good. Yeah, so Sejuani's just pretty much... Gonna go run back. This is the part where I pretty much just solo their whole base. Take out Warwick, who was oblivious to the fact that I was... Standing there taking out everybody. And since they don't have Fiora, they pretty much have no defense against me. Take out Karthus. And I... I guess I just sort of wait. Wait it out. Oh, I'm going for the turret. Since they haven't killed any of my minions, so... That turret's pretty much gone. Getting my life back. Warwick's on me, doesn't really do anything, but then Ash comes in with her arrow, and so I pretty much have to ghost out. I don't think I get away. No, I don't. But, Malphite almost kills. Oh, Katarina's there. Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing. Katarina takes out Ash. Ash and Fiora are pretty much the only thing that can stop us. Oh, I'd buy some more crit. So, 
I can pretty much just max that out. Karthus gets killed by a minion. Um, I think at this point he's just pissed off. Yeah, he got killed by a super minion because he, he he had an awful game, and you can see him in the chat just having a terrible time. And um, their inhibitor respawns. I have my teleport, so I can run up there and take it out again if I want to. After that minion wave gets close enough. But I say something about soloing Baron. So everybody else comes and we tape Baron again. Just so we can wrap this up. We didn't really need it, but it's always fun to rub it in people's faces. So I pop my ult thinking I'm going to be soloing it. You probably shouldn't have because Malphite would be there, so... Even with my lifesteal, I would be fine. And I think I have the full bonus, or at least almost full bonus, of the Bloodthirster. So, that's another thing that's helped me out. And so, we're just gonna take out Fiora. Ash is sitting there, so, stun do whatever we want with her. Karthus, he's pretty much free kill at this point, because he doesn't really have that much... Well, he doesn't really even attack. So, Malphite uses ult. I get the kill on Sejuani. Karthus dies. We take out the inhibitor. And this just wraps it up. I'm taking turret hits, so I don't, I don't even care at this point. I'm trying to get another kill because I'm greedy, and uh, end up get I end up getting the inhibitor because of my attack speed. I pretty much get the last hit on everything. So I'm just taunting Warwick, and apparently I was standing too close to the pool and die. Warwick then types out in all caps like LOL or something. And, yeah, that wraps it up. We killed them. Well, we killed uh, Warwick and Fiora after that. And then Ash got the arrow. So, that's the end of the game. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And, yeah. So, music in the description.